Okay, hello, hello everyone. How are you doing out there? This is Kurisan Gamer and welcome to another video. Today I bring you Time Pilot on the Atari 2600. I just reviewed this game on the arcade from 1982. It was a cool arcade shooter. So now let's see how it plays on the Atari 2600. And I should try to understand the rules here along the way because I'm new to this game. So off we go. We are in 1910 now and I fly in this blue ship here. And my lives is up underneath the score. And uh, the plane's down. It's supposed to be some... I need to take them out somehow in order to proceed in time. Just see if I can... It's a little bit awkward this... Oops, shit. Should try here. If I can advance in time into the 1940s. It is very good conversion this one actually. It plays very good on the Tory 2600. Very. Oh shit. So I'm still in 1910 here. I think I need to take out one plane or two. And I believe I should take out to shoot at the Zeppelin or something like that. Just see if I can... Oh okay, yeah, there is a Zeppelin. I think I should try to take him out. So let's see, I'm just a rookie to this game as I said. So don't expect... Can I travel in time one time? It would be a success. Ay caramba. It's pretty difficult. One has to to practice in order to learn the... There you go, yes. So that brings me into the future. Into 1940s. The Second World War. So let's see here. Yeah, you, you can see the planes change character now it's more in in line with the time I'm flying in now so let's see if I can shit so this multi-directional character of the game is is a little bit difficult actually <laughs> It's like an open, open, uh, like an early attempt of, of an open world game. But I'm liking this. It's a very shit. Yeah. So that that was game over. Now I'm back in to the be to the beginning again in 1910. So now yeah, I should try once again here. Let's go up here. Try to improve little by little. There you go. Now it's time to try to find the Zeppelin. Or it has a it has an another name in this game, but I don't remember. But it's a Zeppelin of some kind. Lead Zeppelin, perhaps. It's been a long time since the rock and roll. Yeah. Come on. Where are you, Zeppelin? It's been a long time since the rock and roll, yeah. Ah. How long do I have to... Ah, I was hit there! Shit! It's not that easy to... To see the enemy bullets... In this uh, blue background. They could have done the bullets perhaps some other color. 
Would it make it a little bit, a little, little bit easier? There is the zeppelin. We. Yes. So the. So can I make this? Now it's a little bit easier to see because now I have a green bullets on the light blue sky. Ay 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 ay. There you go. Yes. Come on, I want to go to the No. <laughs> Did you see that maneuver? Oh my. That was a close one. Oh shit. Coming for you. Have that. No. Shit, I missed him. There you go, yes. Coming for you. Shit, it's not that easy. It's Yes. Where is the Zeppelin? Is there another Zeppelin in this time? Ooh. Yes. I need to find... I need to find a Zeppelin. Is it that? Oh, a Zeppelin. Perhaps it's... Ay, caramba. Perhaps I need to... Now I'm back to 1910 again. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna call it here. Yeah, it's a very, very good game actually. A very good version. <laughs> it's a 7 out of 10 for this one. I'm very impressed. Uh, that they made this um, so good on the Atari 2600. On the very limited system. They really got it here. Yeah, but it's a cool game. It's very addictive. Uh, I, go, I, re I strongly re recommend it. So there you go. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good one. Goodbye.